For this project, you will need scissors, a nail file, tweezers, an X-Acto knife or some kind of razor, something to mark where you're going to cut, and of course, a pair of jeans. My second video, I did a haul and I bought these jeans to make into shorts, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm just straightening out the jeans, making sure all the seams are lined up, getting them ready to cut. You can use shorts you already have for inspiration or as a guide to cut your new shorts. I am using these pair of shorts because I like the cut and the length, so that's what I used as a guide. Now you're just going to want to trace. To be honest, you can do one leg and cut it and then fold the jeans in half and then cut the other leg to match. Um, I was experimenting so I didn't realize that until after I did all of this hard work and then you were just gonna cut them. I have to do it off camera because these scissors are worthless like the guy you've been crying over. Here are the shorts before I do anything to them. Pretty plain and boring. Now I'm gonna add a little something something to them. For the pocket, I'm gonna mimic what was on those shorts. I am taking my X-Acto knife and I'm just rubbing it back and forth. Make sure you don't just stab your razor in and go ham because then you're just gonna create a big hole. So you see, after a little bit, it starts to create some type of texture. And I keep going. I just, I just keep on. But you do see the texture that it is starting to create. I'm just going to take a nail file and pass it over where I was using the X-Acto knife. It just creates a little bit of texture. Moving down to the bottom of the pocket, here in a second you will see what I meant by make sure you don't just go in one place and go ham because look, I made a hole. I am just pulling out the pockets of my shorts because I am going to do some cuts and I don't want to cut holes in the pockets. Right here I am trying to make, trying is the key word to make three cuts. <laughs> Look how worthless these scissors are. Come on scissors. They're trash. <laughs> I need to get new ones. Anyway, I finally, after I'm struggling, I finally get my three cuts in. And there we go. As you can see, there are two different color strings. Blue being vertical, white being the horizontal strings. You're going to want to pull out the vertical strings, the blue. At first it is hard to get started, but once you get a few out, the rest come out super easy and it is very therapeutic to do this. To frail the bottom of the shorts, you're going to want to pull out the horizontal strings, the white strings. I ended up not going with this look and I just rolled them up, but I'm still showing you because you might want to know. I totally goofed and changed my mind in the middle of the project that the shorts would look a lot better if they were rolled up. So. To fix that, cut them a little longer and kind of straight so that they're easier to roll up. I wish I had done that. It's why you plan things out. This is everything that I did to them. I just added a few patches here and there. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. Oh, there we go. Okay. The texture around that area. I just used a nail file. I made another hole. 
in the back of the shorts I just added a just I don't know something to make them interesting I was just experimenting and this is them